Okay, I switched out my blade to a standard kerf eighth inch blade. Jeez, I just noticed that I'm missing a tooth on this thing. Hmm. It'll be okay though. So it's an eighth inch kerf blade and uh, I have my auxiliary fence on here so I can run them nice and tight. And that should be good. And then my depth is set to just a hair uh, over a quarter of an inch, so it'll be a half inch spline in there when I get done with it. And that'll help with the glue up. I'm not worried about the strength part of it, uh, but it'll keep it from sliding around. It'll help with the strength as well, but it'll keep things from sliding around on me when I, when I put the glue and clamp these together. So let me make some splines. And then we'll get going on that. I'm debating whether I cut them in half now. I think I will cut them in half and then uh, glue them up as four pieces. We'll see. I think I'm going to make my splines out of maple. Okay, I've got my dial indicator set up and it's zeroed out. Uh, and what I'm going to do is, let me move this over. I'm going to make a little skim cut on this piece of maple. Now this piece is uh, probably about 25 inches long. So I'm going to, I'm going to run this, skim it, and then that establishes my zero. Then I can move my, uh, my fence over a quarter of an inch because the blade is eighth inch kerf and then that should yield the uh, the spline I'm looking for. So let's see how, how well this works for me here. <laughs> Just 
I mean, not a lot. That is awful close. So what I'm going to do, keep that one. I could run this through the planer, I suppose. Make a skin cut through the planer. I'll try that with that one. So this is my new zero. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move this one over now. Uh, instead of 250, I'm going to move it over about 240. One, two, and a little more than that. That's a little thin, isn't it? Or 245. Let's see how this one works out. Spline. I think I might run them both through the planer. Let's clean them up a little bit. Let me do that and I'll be right back. I want to, you want to have a little room in there for glue too, and I don't want it to be super tight. Well, that's a nice fit right there on that end. It isn't going to take much. This extra long uh, push stick worked out great. It's held it down to this top, the uh, saw table top. And then I got a little, you know, uh, button on the end here that I shaved down, so it was the same width as my splines, and that helped hold it tight. Push it through, gave me a nice consistent cut, and I'm ready to glue them up. All right, this is a, just a dry glue up, but it's uh, this is the strategy I'm using here. This, this is, remember, these are 40 degrees, and so it's close enough to 90 degrees that uh, these jorkets and clamps, you know, you can get the right angle on the jaws, and I can put pressure in both directions, and because of the spline, it's not sliding on me, and uh, I can pull it together pretty good here. So I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with the way this is going to work. So I'm going to take this apart, glue this one up, do the other one, 
uh, give it a little while. Uh, we just got uh, about five inches of snow here the, you know, last night overnight, so I got to go out and take care of that. Uh, I've got the driveway done, but I need to clear the, the end of it. The plow just came by. So I'll glue one up and uh, do some outside work, and when I come back, they should be ready to go. Just took the clamps off my uh, corners, cleaned up the glue, and they turned out really nice. Uh, it's a nice tight joint, and I'm very happy with the way that worked out. So the grain pattern, grain pattern is uh, nice. So with a little sanding and uh, some other work on it, that, that'll be a nice corner. Now the next operation is to cut them in half and then cut the angle on them. But I, as I was doing that, I was using these clamps, I was looking at my Jorgensen's and I don't know if you can see, let me widen this out a little bit here. These things, I've had these for I don't know how many years. A good 20 anyway. Maybe, maybe more like 25. But they've taken a beating and I was thinking to myself, why not freshen these up? you know but what you need to do is you need to run them across the joiner so they're gonna to have to come apart so I was looking at them and I'm thinking you know to unscrew them you need to you need to take this uh, handle off but it's riveted in there but I think it'd be a pretty simple operation just to drill that one end off punch it through remove the handle and then pin it back together with uh, just like a finish nail or something I think that'd be a reasonable way to do it so I'm gonna try one and uh, see how it goes and then you know my big ones are uh, in good shape it's just these uh, I don't know what they call these 8 inch maybe I think the other ones are 12s and I think these are 8s. But I'm going to try one. See what happens. I really got nothing to lose anyway. 